I'm in now because good things are happening in my life. We're to speed up this game. So we're here. We've worked on both attacking arms here. We've worked on escaping. And we've worked on scooting up and attacking high mount. Now we're going to work a couple of chokes. No geek. It's a little bit different. Normally I would show like the bow and arrow series from here. Or something towards that way. But this week we're going to work on head and arm choke. And then a couple other options off that. A little bit of review. And then we're going to use that to transition towards the back. Okay? Because next week starts our back series. Progression, right? So I'm here. Me and Jordan are doing stuff. And I'm trying to get Jordan's arms flat. Jordan doesn't suck, so he's just not letting it happen, right? So we're here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to scoot one hand right under his head here. And I'm going to get my hand and my elbow in tight here. And I'm going to extend forward using my head, chest, arm, everything I got right here just to get his arm above his head right here. And as soon as I can, I'm going to duck my head right behind his elbow. All right? Now, once I get it here, I want to reach my hand as deep as I can grabbing the back of his trike or his armpit here. All right. Now, once we get here, a couple things we have to address. One, if Jordan doesn't suck and he realizes this was happening, he's going to start answering his telephone and tucking his chin. Answering the telephone doesn't bother me. It doesn't stop anything I'm trying to do. Tucking the chin will nullify your choke. So if you notice his chin is underneath the cap of your shoulder here, all we have to do, raise that chin up and dig back forth, right? So we're here, I'm fighting, I'm trying to, you know, arm bar him or do something civilized, but he doesn't appreciate it. So I get my hand right underneath his elbow. Drive my hips forward, drop it back. Get it here. Once we're here, all we're gonna look to do is keep my thumb up and pull my hands in here. A couple different grip options you can go to. One, cable grip. Not my most favorite, it's okay though. I prefer to come over the top, and grab the fatty part of my palm here. Two reasons I like this. Let's me keep the blade of my hand right in the back of his neck, which is just general discomfort. It also gives me a more natural pulling motion up, where I feel like the gable grip does. Right. So once we're here, I'm gonna set my grip. And a lot of people drive their weight forward. We're trying to like, squeeze going this way. Realize all that does is drive my weight and pressure into either the bottom of his chin or the top of his head. How many of you have ever been choked by the top of your head? Someone's grabbed the top of your head real tight and like, ah. It's never worked, right? So why are we driving our pressure down? So when I get here, boom, I'm, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look to squeeze and sprawl. As I do this, I'm pulling my hands across and up. As that's happening, I'm dropping my shoulder down and pulling this hand up. All right. Now, if you're like, man, I don't have enough pressure there, or I just need that little bit extra, he's a little tough, right? Jordan does this up in jiu jitsu, he's been choked before. Realize you can dismount here. So, boom, here. Hey, okay, squeeze, it's not working. Dismount, drive that knee in, squeeze more. But most of that should be reviewed from side control when we work on crossbody with it, driving through. But another spot to hit it, we're going to use it to set some force up. Questions on this? Yeah. So we're here. Hey, Jordan, you're fighting because I don't like Jordan some days. He's got really bad ideas sometimes. He's like, hey, well, let's just do basic white belt jujitsu. Boom. I get my hand right underneath that elbow, lock your elbow in, and I'm going to drive it up as much as I can. Because naturally I will have more structural stability here, and it's really hard. If I push Jordan way down here low on his tricep, really easy to fight. If I try to push his wrist up, really easy to fight. Push right in the middle of that elbow, towards the strong kid. It's really hard to get your arm back from here, especially once I get in there. Now once I'm here, reaching across, pulling that in. Now, you can go gable grip here, as long as you drop your weight into it. I prefer, like I said, fatty part of your palm, to like it's a more natural pinching motion. Make sense? All right, any other questions? 
with a friend. One, two, three! I'm here with Jordan. I like him the most days. But today I've decided to show. So we're here. We're fighting. Boom. I get my hand under the elbow. I get pushed up. I get to here, right? But like most of you felt, if you want to stay in mount, you don't always have that perfect pressure to get it, right? It's just that nip difficult. I don't, I don't like to I like to be able to just get to a position in space. So that's why here, I really prefer the gorilla choke if I'm going to stay mounted. So all we're going to do is I'm going to keep this hand on grip here, and I'm just going to help Jordan up to his side just by kickstanding him up with the, my same side leg. So I'm here. I go for this choke. All I'm going to do is help him up, slide my knee right behind his back. As soon as we get here, this hand stays. This hand comes in. And I'm looking to go almost like a rear naked choke grip. So I'm here, here, and I'm trying to punch this into his neck as much as I can, so I can slice down. So we're here, like the Jordan. Boom, I'm gonna core you. You're like, nah, I don't like that. So boom, I push it across, drive here. He gets settled in, but Jordan, he's smart, he defends. I don't appreciate that. Boom, set him up, slide my knee. Because now Jordan goes to try to go flat again, really hard. I have his elbow trap and his shoulder trap. Something behind his hips. Makes life more difficult, which I appreciate. Here, I like to just sneak my hand right in that pocket here. Make a fist, squeeze. In, down. So, that's why it's called the gorilla show, because you're just basically rocking. Like, it's not... This is positional, because once you get there, you as Jordan is probably testing, you feel that you're just in trouble very quick. Couple details on it though. When I'm here, a lot of people try to come over the top of this hand here. That'll make it very easy for him to defend. When you go to sneak this in, sneak it in under his elbow pit here. Does that make sense? Because then once we're here, I'm dropping this hand down and squeezing. It's very quick. So I'm fighting. Get my hand under the elbow, drive it forward, push. Attack it. Doesn't work, right? Sit him up, drive that knee. Once we're here, sneak this hand into his neck, drive a fist into his throat, squeeze the bicep, and you're there. So I can the arms are Are you just cupping his throat? So, you ever thrown like a really mad, like, what we call hammer fist? Yeah. yeah. You're doing that without like punching. So, like, when I get here, if Jordan moves his hand for me, boom, I'm here, here, driving this knuckle down as I both flex my bicep and pinch here. Here, here. This hand's coming down, this is all squeezing it. That's why I like it. The nice part is you don't sacrifice any position and it sets up the next step of the evolution from the That's so why I like reteaching this from mount and not just from side. Questions on the gorilla show? Time. I get my hand underneath that elbow. I drive it forward, I get here. I try for my head and arm, but I just don't feel it's there. Not confident in it. Don't love it, whatever it happens to be. Grab that shoulder, sit him up to the side, put that knee right behind him. Sneak the hand in, drop the elbow back, pin. For those of you who play Savage Punch Face, this is also a nice one if you have gloves on. So I'm here, I'm not leaning forward, I'm sitting into it. So I'm actually pulling everything in. Because if I lean forward, he can buck and roll and start doing stuff, and I don't, I don't like that. I work, I, unless they suck, he's probably worked really hard to get him out. I don't like doing that. So when I get here, I'm sitting into my hips and waist here. Because if he goes to buck and move, if it's not in and he goes to buck and move here, I still have good pace. Where if I drive too far forward, it makes me set pull him over the top of this. Make sense? So sitting into those hips, sitting into that waist, setting up that squeeze. Abandon ship and take the arm. So, for her question, I fucked this up. 
Rolls. You would have it. Because you're not going to squeeze that out from bottom, most likely. Unless you're just eight strong. JJ, JJ. JJ can pull some bullshit like that. Austin can pull some bullshit. <laughs> Most of us aren't going to be that guy. So at that point, you would swing out with anyone. Go somewhere else. Right. Driller out with a friend. One, two, three. So cool. So, so. I'm here with Jordan. Good things are happening, right? Oh, my fight. Oh, I get this arm up. But let's say I go for this choke, and he's just one of those people that's really hard to choke. I go there, I go here, it's not really working, but I don't want to give him his arm back, right? It's kind of silly. I worked probably really hard to get his arm up here. So instead, all we're going to do is I'm going to post my opposite side foot here. Just a little bit out. I'm going to keep a good hold on the back of his armpit here, pulling it up and sliding around. What this is going to allow me to do, my outside hand comes with me, pulling forward here. If you like body triangles, great, go there. If not, go to the standard back. I prefer a good body triangle because I like to squeeze Jordan's skin. All right? So we're here. I'm fighting. I don't like this. Boom. I push the arm up and over. Post. Pulling Jordan up and around, keeping my head tight this entire time. As I'm here, I pull him up and get to where I still have a good solid grip here. Come on his back, body triangle, both legs in. Or if you want to just keep this out, you can always go to the non closed leg. You're just here keeping this knee pinched. I don't care what you prefer. But once you get here, then we're just going to stay here and we'll work a couple different options. Questions on this so far? I'll walk through it a bunch more times because the motion takes a second. But questions on it so far? What grip do you have for the same I just grab some pajamas. So that's why I like this is because it's not E or no E dependent. If you get it, you'll realize outside of very stereotypical like cross collar baseball bat jokes, most of my games you don't. If there's pajamas there, grab it. If not, how to make a hook grip. You know, you can make 90% of what you So, I get here. If there's pajamas, just grab whatever pajamas kind of punched up. That's going to be dashed. Now, once we're here, post, post. Pull, sit behind him. Arm underneath. Pull him forward. Here. Body triangle. Closed or just stereotypical back. Question on this. Is there any trouble with you? Is it great? No, but I'll take your arm trap all day. Especially in slap fighting. Slap your shit out of you there. So, is it? Now, if they off balance you there, can they cause problems? Absolutely. But you should already be swinging. This isn't a slow, methodical pull. I'm taking your back. This is a go. Does that make sense? This isn't one of those like, okay, then you need to slide in, you put a lot of pressure down, then you wiggle pass, right? This isn't pressure. This is take the back in a hurry, and we're going to learn to choke the shit out of the back there. Questions on this? Walk one more time, and we'll get after it. Boom, here. Boom, I get the arm isolated, I get here. I start driving forward, close, slide. Then we'll go for some other choking options. Drill around with your partners. One, two, three! Yes, but I do want to cover a couple details. So, one, a couple details just that I saw us messing up this first time. Boom, I get arm around. A lot of us were pulling the person up and into us, like we were trying to hug. When I'm here, I'm trying to pull him past 
So it's not up and in, it's past me this way. That's going to allow me to slide around a little bit smoother. Okay? This will also allow your other hand to come around a little bit easier. Does that make sense? Yeah. Both of those things are, are causing us a little bit of issues. So when we're here, it's not pull him up and try to like scoop around him. I'm pulling him past me that little bit, and that's allowing me to almost baseball slide past. All right. So now we're here. I'm just going to turn around this way so that everyone can see me go. So cool. I'm still here, and in an ideal world, I either have the body triangle or at least the pinch here, right? All we're going to do is I'm going to hit this hand deep, keep it behind his neck as much as I can. This hand is going to come here. It's going to have two options. Option A is just the typical rear naked choke grip. Squeeze. Finish. If you don't like that, come palm to palm. Elbow behind. Whisper in something real weird into his ear like, I bench watched Harry Potter all weekend. Because then he has to wonder, why the fuck do you tell me that? I'll say something weird. Fun. Either way, you're looking just to finish. Arm in, head on, or arm in, uh, rear naked choke. All right. The nice part about this is if you do this properly, basically from step one, they should feel just that mild discomfort of, oh shit, I'm being choked. All the way through. So when I'm here, boom, I get there. Oh, he should feel that little bit of discomfort. Even if I'm not really squeezing here, that, oh shit, I might get choked. here. All around. Hit that thing. Then you're just finishing the halfway grip you already have. Like I said, if you want, prefer palm to palm, drop that elbow behind his back, pinch here. If you're coming to your naked choke grip, pinching here, rolling the head forward here. So I'm here with George. Bottom here. Bottom here. This hand, rolling his head forward while this hand pinches. Bottom here. Rocking the elbow back, pinching here. Question on this. Boom. Couple options. One, I'm generally going to have my head behind his head, kind of forcing it forward for two reasons. One, a lot of guys will try to like, arc it and get their head up here. Just a little make it tighter. Or I'm going here to here so I can sit here. Anyway, but you want to keep something behind his head. Because if I'm here, I'm just squeezing. All he has to do is arch his head back, and it actually relieves a ton of pressure. Or if I got the head behind it, it reinforces that choke. That little bit, and you can then last 5% of pressure. Other questions on this, Carolyn? Is this how, what's the speed on it to get it? To the choke? Yeah. Fast. To the squeeze as long as you need. This is slow steady. Once I'm there, you'll run out of blood eventually, buddy. Good luck. We can be here. Because here's the thing. I'll start with that like Captain America on the pole grip. And I'll sit there for a minute. If it's not working, I'll sneak it up. Start pushing your head forward or start adjusting my grip. Make sense? Other questions on this? Start choking each other. One, two, three!